Celebrities transform themselves for roles all the time, but you can still for the most part recognize who it is. Not with these celebrities though, so why don't we jog your memory. In at 10, Ezra Miller. Oh boy, what a way to start off this list. Sure, you may recognize the face, but in 2022, Ezra Miller is seemingly a completely different person. From perks of being a wallflower to now, oh my god, they've seemingly been replaced by a clone. After reports came of Ezra seemingly turning an Airbnb in Iceland into what one woman compared to a commune during the filming of Fantastic Beasts The Secrets of Dumbledore, things only got more insane from there. A few months later, a disturbing video surfaced showing Miller choking a woman and throwing her to the ground. Variety then confirmed the location of the altercation and employees of the bar identified the one in the video as Miller. And the video made the rounds on the internet and oh boy. While the original tweet has been deleted, nothing you post on the internet ever goes away. Then nearly a year later, Miller was arrested in Hawaii and charged with disorderly conduct and harassment due to a conference with patrons at a local bar that turned physical. And with the hype that had built around the Flash solo film and the Snyder Cut, with the Crisis on Infinite Earths cameo on the CW Arrowverse, this was definitely something horrifying to see. Especially after the couple that bailed Miller out of jail then filed a restraining order against them a couple days later. In at 9, Rebel Wilson, known mostly for her role as Fat Amy in Pitch Perfect and Pitch Perfect 2, seems to be an entirely new person as of 2022. Starting what she called her year of health in 2020, Wilson would be unrecognized recognizable to anyone who hadn't followed that journey. Since 2020, Wilson has lost 77 pounds and has openly talked about not only her diet, journey, and body positivity, but she also mentions how helpful it was to go on walks several times a week. She of course threw her own brand of comedy into this journey with a video working out using water bottles, which I personally find very compelling, but this is still a massive change over just two years. She mentioned how she had to remind herself that things take time, saying, quote, I should take it a bit easier on myself and just do it gently and do it lightly. So in 2020 I lost weight but very very gradually. Sometimes I kicked things up a notch with some workouts and went hard but the majority of the work for the year was just doing things like walking for an hour. And while of course the same method won't yield the same results for everyone, hopefully her journey can help you to continue or start your own. Also if you guys like this kind of video be sure you hit subscribe alright? It's not me all the time I promise. I'm just helping out. Just just do it. In at 8, Jake Short. Okay, I knew Jake Short as Fletcher from Ant Farm, but after scrolling through TikTok, I stumbled upon a clip from a podcast hosted by who I recognized as Gabe Duncan, Bradley Perry. Checking the comments, I noticed a lot of people mentioning the other host as well, who I didn't really recognize, but kind of thought I knew them in my head, and they kept referencing Mighty Med, which was a show that ran on the Disney Channel from 2013 to 2015, so I looked it up to see who the other guy was, and that's when it clicked that it was Fletcher Quinn from Ant Farm, the real name Jake Short. This was like an insane revelation for me and something that I never expected, which is why I feel the need to put it on this list, okay, because this had me gobsmacked. Uh, I get that it's been 10 years, okay, but but the beard that he had in the clip and, and the hair and then him having an insane growth spurt. The last time I remember seeing Jake on screen was in Ant Farm, whereas like we saw Bradley age during Good Luck Charlie's run, okay, so it was just, it was an insane shock that actually blew my mind. So yeah, if you didn't know, now you do. And, and and hopefully it's not just me who was blindsided. And it's 7 Adele. The singer released her first album in 2008 when she was 19 years old, but now at 30 she has a new album and is about 100 pounds lighter. That and her decision to ditch the dark hair and bangs that she was sporting in the beginning has left Adele unrecognizable. Following two slip discs and a c-section, the singer wanted to focus on feeling stronger both mentally and physically. Her personal trainer shared that she got really turned towards focusing on her movement, and especially strength training. So focused on that that she started doubling sessions. She told Oprah, I'm actually an athlete, I'm not even boasting. She also shared that she is a talented boxer and has a killer left hook. There were rumors that she was following a restrictive diet but immediately shut them down. A big leading factor into her journey is her breakup with her husband and becoming a single mother, and if you didn't really follow her aside from maybe her music, I'm sure that this would have come as even more of a shock like it did with me. I don't really listen to music, so yeah, I wasn't even following the music, and then, yeah, hopefully you get it. And it's six, Matthew Lewis. Matthew once told the big issue that he had to wear a fat suit and false teeth and stuff to stick my ears out in order to portray Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter series. And it's been reported that Matthew's character was either based on or the basis for the term Longbottoming, which is detailed by Urban Dictionary as, quote, the sometimes slow, sometimes overnight, always surprising transformation of someone, usually a man, from decidedly unattractive to hot as hell. I'm pretty sure that 
that's what the character's name was based on and not the other way around. But either way, Q Matthew playing Neville in the Harry Potter film franchise, which afterwards he had a major glow up that surprised everyone, with the majority of people agreeing that he got even more attractive after the series despite the character also having a glow up within the context of the films. But given that according to most studies I believe men reach their prime around their 40s or 50s, this would be understandable. Since Lewis has gotten closer to this range after the movies, people would see him as more attractive and um, experienced. This is also not referring to someone's physical prime uh, or the prime that is typically associated with sports. I think you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Halfway through in at number 5, Macaulay Culkin. Of course known for his iconic role in Home Alone and Home Alone 2 Lost in New York, Macaulay Culkin is commonly regarded as one of the most successful child actors of the 90s. After retiring from acting at the age of 14, he explained the decision saying he was being seriously exploited by his father. One of the most shocking pictures of Culkin though made the rounds back in 2012. And was often one of the featured images in articles talking about child actors and the toll that it takes, along with many articles focused on people whose lives got destroyed, or for the majority of the time, articles talking about celebrities who destroyed their own lives. But if you put the photos of 2012 Macaulay next to 2022 Macaulay, you may know who it is just based on how iconic he is, but you'd think that they were from two different worlds. Like when I saw those pictures back in 2012, I was upset, alright? I had, I had hoped that he would be able to get out of that situation. And then he joined Smosh for a try not to laugh video back in 2019 and it was like night and day. In it for Jared Leto. Jared Leto is known for his unbelievable transformation abilities and he does it constantly like with his role for Paolo Gucci in Ridley Scott's true crime drama House of Gucci. In that role he wears a bald head, facial prosthetics, and flashy clothes because you know the, he's a luxury brand's former design chief. You get the idea alright but this transformation was so shocking that his co-stars didn't even recognize him the first day on set. Apparently Al Pacino had no idea who Leto was. Leto said in an interview, quote, The first day I showed up on set in character, I went over to Al Pacino and I say hello to him and he kind of brushed me off. You could tell that he couldn't wait to get away from me. But then someone told him it was Leto and he was shocked with the transformation. When asked how long the hair and makeup would take every day, Leto said the physical part of it was about six hours in the morning and about an hour at night, which is insane. But to be fair for the live action Grinch film, Jim Carrey had to complete CIA torture endurance training to get through that makeup process. So I guess you could say when Leto gets in the chair, it's Morbin time. Getting close to the end, into number three, Carrot Top. If you look at Carrot Top then and now, your mind will be absolutely blown, okay? It's crazy what this 56 year old comedian looks like now. From looking like a ginger Napoleon dynamite character to now looking like the star of Chucky, I'm not child's playing around, there are drastic differences between what seems to be his stages. Like basically he's the Machop of humans, okay? I can't wait to see him grow another two arms. It's so drastic that many people believe that he's gone through plastic surgery. So, I mean, even saying several specifically for his face. It's like the whole Zac Efron jaw thing but for comedians. Of course I'm, I'm saying all of this is a joke because well he's a comedian. It makes sense in the context. But you're lying if you say that Carrot Top looks the same. Okay. The only thing that's similar is the hair. Without it you would have no idea who he was. But ultimately in at number two Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen is another comedian and actor who has had multiple stages I guess is the best way to describe it. In two years he went from looking like himself and neighbors from 2014 to looking like a hot dog and sausage party. That's a, that's a joke because it was animated. And now, come 2023, he's going to look like a gorilla named after a donkey. Again, another joke about animation, but also, why is a gorilla named donkey? That seems annoying. Without the beard though, Seth actually looks like a completely different person, which we could see at the Emmys back in 2021. And before that he went on his own weight loss journey which was shocking to many, with multiple sites stating that he lost 30 pounds in 10 weeks. And while some actors do have drastic changes for roles, take Christian Bale for instance, this was still a shock to many. Plus, again, without the beard he looks like a totally different person, I am standing by that statement. There's not that drastic of a change like there was with Jonah Hill, however there is definitely a noticeable difference that can make you forget who you're looking at. And finally, in at number one, Kelly Osbourne. Having famous parents like Ozzy and Sharon Osbourne, you're bound to grow up with a giant light 
focused on you. Some would say a spotlight, which means the whole world can watch you go through your most awkward phases. We love that, right? Yeah, no. When we saw her in the early 2000s, the Osbournes on the red carpet, she was with her parents and they were usually sporting very grungy punk rock mixed with kind of a girly style out there. I don't know, I don't get it. I'm not a fashion guy, obviously. I'm wearing a sweater. Often sporting dark eye makeup and short black hair. She had never looked more like her mother, but now Kelly has gone through quite the transformation. 20 years since the family show first aired, she's now rocking lilac colored hair and has shed quite a bit of weight. She struggled quite a lot growing up with substance and mental illness, but she has since sobered up and openly shared various aspects of her life. Osborne lost 38 kilograms and said that the surgery was far from a quick fix and it required a lifestyle change. And if you look at her from her time on the show to now, you would never know it's the same person, okay? And at, le at least, like, yeah, at least you don't have tiny glasses, right? Because, like, I don't get that. Why are they so small? As someone who needs glasses to read, I don't understand it. If you want to know more about celebrities you won't recognize in 2022 or even 2023, be sure you're checking out the other videos on this channel, one of which is about to pop up now. Thanks for watching.